This is part two of my creating React app and then uploading it to a web hosting company. Could be any traditional web hosting company that has like a Linux Apache server or even a Windows IIS server. And then I will show using a FTP client to upload it. So let's take a look. So next I'll run the npm run build command. As it says here on the screen, the version that we just ran was not optimized for production. So now we will build a production version and walk through the basic steps of how I use an FTP program to send it out to a static web hosting provider on the internet. So here we go, npm run build and hit the enter key. And again, this will take a little bit of time depending on the speed of your computer. So the build is finished and you see some basic information here on the screen about the files that were built. And if you wanna like run it with a server here, you can do npm install minus g space serve and then do serve slash or dash s and then build and it will run it with a static server here right in your development environment but what i've done is i went ahead and opened up an ftp program and off screen i created an account an ftp account on an actual server a domain name that i'll show here in just a minute so here is the same folder with the files that we were building in the VS code. So I wanted to point out the directory that we're in, ctemp slash code slash YouTube dash app. And let's remember the name of the application or the title of the page, which if we scroll down here, we'll see it's called YouTube app. So let's go ahead and open up the FTP program and show how I transfer files up to a web hosting company. So here you can see we're in the same directory that I just showed in VS Code. And so all of our files are here that it built for us, the index page, the logos. If we go into the static folder, we can see all of these files here. The JS files, the CSS files, and any media files our basic logo so that's what we're going to upload now I already uploaded it once so I'll go ahead and delete these files it'll just take a second so there we will go ahead and upload them now so I select all the files and then hit the right arrow and it will proceed to upload all the files to the FTP host which is also connected to a domain name and I'll show that in the web browser here in just a moment as soon as these files are so then here is what the application looked like on our local machine and we can see here it's now running it's called YouTube app and it's on a domain name called Scott's YouTube videos .com. so that's basically it in a nutshell of how you create a new React application, make some basic changes, and upload it to a web hosting company that deals with static websites such as this React static website. If you like this channel, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new content.